Hey y'all, what's going on? Joe here with the Texas Rancher. Today we're going to be talking about the DJI Avada FPV drone. I purchased it a few weeks ago and I've been flying it around, uh, checking cows with it, uh, flew through the woods and down a trail that, that we have cut through the woods up there in the north pasture. i uh, flown it all around the yard and, and uh, basically done a lap around the property and so far I have to say I've been really happy with it um, I, I'm very pleased this is the first drone that I've ever had so this is totally from a beginners perspective I know that there's a whole entire community of drone enthusiasts on YouTube I've been uh, watching some of those channels uh, in fact that's where I got a lot of my information from before I made my my decision to uh, make my purchase so since I've had it, I have uh, bought some accessories uh, based on some of the information that I've seen on YouTube. And uh, first thing I did was I bought the Master Air Screw uh, props. As you can see here, I've got the blue ones on. These are three blade props, I ha and the yellows are also three blades. And after some uh, learning some more information on the prop situation, um, I just I think I'm going to go ahead and, and order some four blade props as well. Um, for me, it's it's not really all about the performance. It's just the fact that I'm getting an af some aftermarket parts and changing up the color scheme and uh, making it look different. Really, honestly, I've flown the Master Air Screw props one time so far. Maybe it was a little more responsive. It, it's really, you know, I have so little experience with these drones, it's hard for me to tell. I don't have any way to scientifically measure it. So it's purely based on my opinion. Um, it definitely sounds different. That's one of their claims that they're quieter. I won't say that they're quieter, but they do sound different. I would say a higher pitched scream, you know, um, you know they're they're a little higher pitch or different tone maybe they're a little more responsive um, I didn't fly it until the battery ran down I didn't time it so I don't know if they're more efficient or not I really it's just hard to say um, the one thing I can say I definitely liked about them though besides uh, just being different colors and so if you're familiar with the DJI Avada you will know that there's a little door in here for the USB-C uh, cable to be plugged in and there's a you can put your SD card in there so it's really difficult to get to with the five blade uh, stock props uh, the three blade I can already tell it's easier to get to access that little door with the three blade and I, I've seen online where people say it's also pretty easy to get to with the four blade props so I may try the four blades and see how those go maybe get some different colors as well um, so the main reason I chose the Avada is because it came with the motion controller it's more of a high performance drone I wanted that FPV effect um, I didn't want something slow that's not very agile it doesn't handle wind very well uh, because I knew what I would be using the drone for would be to check cows and uh, you know explore the property, look for down fences. Uh, if we got a lost calf, uh, the cows get out and bust through a fence. I wanted something that could really cover some ground. Uh, with you know, it's not the longest flight time, but so far in my experience with the DJI Avada, uh, I can make a lap around this 500 acres uh, on a battery, and and that's uh, pretty good to me. Um, also, I bought the, I paid extra, or bought separately, the FPV controller because it is a goal of mine to be able to fly it in manual mode. Um, not necessarily for, for uh, uh, going to check cows and stuff like that, but just for fun. I want to be able to fly it in manual mode. It goes a lot faster and uh, I think it'll just be a lot of fun because this is also not only is this a tool for me here on the ranch but it's also going to be a hobby um, of flying and everything so I, I think I'm really going to enjoy it so yeah I paid like 200 bucks for the FPV controller but it came with the motion controller and it came with 
goggles, and I chose the uh, combo that came with the goggles Integra. I really like these. I didn't want to get the goggles too because you got a battery pack and a, and a cable off of them, and I just didn't want to deal with that uh, clutter or, you know, just too much, too much going on. I didn't like it at all. I didn't really care about the features, whether it did or didn't have certain features. They lost me with the battery pack and the cable on the headband. I was out. I didn't want that at all. Want the Integra. They're more compact. They do exactly what I need them to do. So I chose that. Um, I bought a uh, lanyard for extra 15 bucks to connect to the FPV uh, remote. This is made by Simic. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not familiar with a lot of the brands and stuff in the drone industry. Uh, I just got on Amazon and found one that I liked and it was cheap so I bought it. Um, also, I bought a kit that comes with the, uh, the bumpers. These are the bumpers that go around the uh, prop air ducts. They're kind of a rubberized texture and uh, I have you know haven't put them on yet but they're gonna go around here like this and uh, for just an added layer of protection I have had one crash so far into a tree but didn't do any damage then uh, another issue that I have heard about with the DJI drone or DJI uh, Avada is the battery can uh, eject on its own with the hard crash I have not experienced that yet but um, in this kit came this anti-release battery buckle and it come and it's also got like um, shark fins on the top of it like a, a wing or something and uh, it goes on the back of the drone like this I haven't installed it yet obviously but it's supposed to uh, also protect the drone if it should land on it on the top of it and uh, as just an added layer of protection uh, on the top and then um, it came with landing gear these will go on the bottom of it and uh, raise it up off of uh, the ground a little bit they'll go they'll go something like that right there and uh, I'm gonna try those out I don't know if I'm gonna like the landing gear or not um, I did buy a landing pad also it's a uh, it's black on one side orange on the other I like the orange side it's more uh, visible and easy to see even though we have that H in the screen for home I wanted a landing pad um, in case there's some moisture on the ground or the grass is a little bit tall where I'm flying and I can have the drone land on that pad and the props can uh, you don't have to worry about getting dirt and debris and stuff in the props because uh, the first few times that I flew um, the grass even though it appeared to be short once you stick this little drone down on the ground you know the grass is sticking up through them and I didn't want to mess you know mess around and get any dirt in the motors or anything like that um, the last thing I want to mention is the case everything fits in there nicely um, I paid $69 for this case um, I'll even show you my landing gear uh, can go in there I mean my landing pad uh, lays on the top as well so I can fit everything that I need in this case if I'm gonna go fly we're gonna put, I'm gonna stand up and put the camera in front of it. Okay, so there's the uh, landing pad in its case. Got the drone, fits nicely. These all came pre cut out. The goggles fit in there. I've got the lanyard underneath. Usually, what I do is I put the goggles in and then I put the the lanyard in there something like that and you got your motion controller uh, here I have the uh, 
the DJI filters and uh, I've got one on the drone right now I don't know a whole lot about them I just know it's supposed to help uh, give you the motion blur when you're flying fast and it doesn't make things look uh, so unrealistic you know it gives you that motion blur it got room for uh, batteries I bought two extra batteries um, as well so I have a total of three I want to get two more so I can fill up these slots and have a total of five batteries uh, the FPV controller fits in there one thing I liked about this case uh, uh, an additional thing that I liked is uh, the foam that's down in there the foam that's down in there you can uh, dig that out and you can make each uh, slot deeper uh, because when I got the case I had to dig uh, I think three sections of foam out of this hole they're pre-cut they're just stuffed down in there so that the uh, motion controller would go down in there far enough uh, there is some space underneath the drone I just got a cloth down there but there is some space underneath the drone to put a few things if you needed to and uh, let's look at the brand of the case that's what it's called it's got a shadow on there <laughs> it's called a Yeti Yeti or something sorry the light uh, to the room is right above my head so I can't get rid of that shadow it's uh, called a Yeti or Yeti I don't know how to pronounce it. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with all the uh, drone uh, parts and accessories out there and all the companies that make this stuff. I'm still very new to the drone industry. Um, I'm just kind of winging it as I go. And I don't, uh, I don't have any friends that have, you know, that are into FPV drones. I don't have any friends that race or do freestyle drones or anything like that. I have one friend that has a drone and it's just you know it's a basic uh, DJI uh, mini SE I think um, so I didn't have anyone to go to for advice on all this kind of stuff I just you know like a lot of people these days I just had to jump on YouTube and do my research and figure out for myself uh, what I thought would be a good fit for me if you're not familiar with who I am my name's Joe and I'm uh, I have a Facebook page called the Texas Rancher. Um, also have the Texas Rancher on YouTube, uh, the Texas Rancher on TikTok, and the Texas Rancher on Instagram. I have uh, 127,000 followers on Facebook as the making of this video on my page. Um, my YouTube channel is still very small. I'm starting from scratch, so I don't have very many followers on on YouTube. Uh, in fact, my videos don't really get any views yet because nobody knows that I exist on there. Um, I will be uploading uh, some drone content uh, to all of my channels. Um, although my main thing is ranching, I am a full-time cattle rancher so the majority of my content is going to be ranch related however I believe that the drone fits in nicely into that I can incorporate the drone into that um, so anyways uh, if if you want to you know like the video follow me subscribe to me it would definitely help me out a lot I greatly appreciate it um, check me out on on the other platforms Instagram TikTok, Facebook YouTube. You can find me on all of those. Just uh, do a quick search. The Texas Rancher. I'm the only one out there. So it'll definitely be me. Alright y'all. That concludes this video. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope I didn't ramble too much. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. As always, y'all take care and be good.